Hi all, today in this tutorial we are going to discuss on a topic like how Power BI we can connect with Oracle database. So for that what we have to do, you can open the Power BI desktop from the start menu then click on get data and once you click on get data click on more once you click on more click on databases you can see lots of databases you can connect over here so you have to just choose on oracle database so this is the oracle database click on connect once you click on connect one pop-up window will come it will ask you for the server name just keep xe because this is our server name which is installed in this machine so right now just we have to click on ok once you click on ok another window will pop up so you can see my databases are connected uh, so all the things like countries customers uh, employee department employee those are present over here okay let me select jobs then employees then locations let me select these three things if i click on load now it will load the data it is loading the data jobs employees and locations so it will take some time once it is loaded it will appear in the right side corner of the window you can see the data employees then jobs then locations so if i want to create a chart in power bi desktop we can expand the employees jobs and locations and choose which field we need the data so i need visualizations on uh, departments okay uh, next is i need department wise employees first name So you can see here it is showing the count of department ID and first name. Next I need the emails. Okay. Just remove it. Uh, I need the emails over here. Okay. Just remove it. Click on this chart. Then drag and drop in the column section so you can see so if i want to filter and slices affecting this visualization that also we can do so as a table if you do so as a table it will show like this okay and i want to remove it so now i want to create a chart like bar chart i have to create so i am taking in y axis emails okay. i am taking first name in x axis then last name also in x axis then salary in y axis Okay, let me select any other chart like which will give the more uh, better visualization so it is looks like better so first name last name is there let me add the values job IDs 
okay let me add manager ids okay first name emails okay that's look better so we have prepared one chart which is called count of last name and count of email by salary and manager id now if we want to do some more modification we can we can click on view then we can click on colors and it will give you various type of colors over here okay so that is looks fine next uh, we can prepare a pie chart so prepare a pie chart also uh, will give some interactive dashboards so let me drag it over here and this one also we can drag we can add more visualizations so not a problem we can drag again here okay so i want to create a pie chart so let me department wise i want to create it so these are the department ids department ids and first name first name in values okay then uh, i want to see the maximum salary in details in details i want to see the maximum salary okay tool tips in tool tips suppose i want the phone numbers So it is preparing a chart like count of first name and first phone number first name and first phone number by department id and salary okay this is also looks better okay apart that what we can do we can create a different chart we can create a donut chart or we can create a gauge or we can create a map let me create a map so salary in the legend then commissions in the latitude no in locations commission pct and salary okay so in this way we can prepare some charts however the chart should be more meaningful it should not be any randomized chart because it is holding some business data next is we can prepare a gauge chart so for that i am taking the map over here uh, the visualization tool is a uh, inbuilt function which is provided by power bi where already some charts are present over here and apart that also you can import <coughs> different type of charts or you can get some more values if you are connected to a different network or ids anyway uh, so let me drag the values for street address next is 
this is value city and city of every employees city of every employees okay job id job title was city okay job title in values count of the job title is 19 over here okay so if i click on this charts you can see automatically my goals and other um, things are changing okay so this is what i want to show you how we can connect the power bi with the oracle database and we can prepare some interactive charts so let me know in the comment section if this is helpful or uh, how it can be more better thanks for watching this video like and subscribe